Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 28th in the year of our Lord, 2017. And this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be found in Psalm chapter 1, and we're going to look at verses 1 through 3, which says, Blessed or happy is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now, notice there's three things happening here. There is the man that is walking, there is the man that is standing, and then there is the position of sitting. Now, walking would represent a passerby, someone that may be a little bit curious, but really hasn't taken a position yet. Standing would be someone who is a spectator. They have stopped because their curiosity has been embroiled, and they are allowing themselves to be entertained by such things as they see. Then the last is sitting, and this is a person who has become a participant in what was taking place. So our text says, blessed is the man that does not walk. He will not even allow himself to be curious by what he sees, nor will he allow himself to stand or be entertained by what he sees of the world, in the world, and surely he will not become a participant in it. And for avoiding such things, he is a blessed and happy man. Verse 2 says his delight is in the law of the Lord. Do you find joy in correction, rebuke, and conviction? You should because once we know about something within us, then we can do something about it. And so rebuke, correction, conviction is an opportunity for us to become a little bit more like our Lord Jesus. So he finds his delight in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. He's thinking on, he's pondering the word of God, stories he knows, passages that he's read, promises that have been given, prophecies yet to be fulfilled, wisdom and insight offered. He finds delight in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. I pray that this is true of you, friend. Now, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That's important because a tree that's planted by the rivers of water is deeply rooted. There's very little that can uproot that tree. There's very little that can cause it harm because it is so nourished by the waters that are feeding it from this flowing river. And so we are told the more of the word of God that we get into us, the more deeply grounded in the truth of God, in the ways of God, in the person of the Godhead, we are like, we become. And so verse 1, this man who abstains from the things that the world offers him and finds his delight in the law of the Lord, verse 2, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Is your desire to be deeply rooted in the things of God? Well, friend, this is how you do it. It continues by saying, this tree will bring forth fruit in its own season, and so too shall you. The more of the word you get in you, the more of the word of God has an opportunity to come out of you. And so you'll find yourself acting, behaving righteously without even being aware you're doing so because the word of God flows through your life like rivers of living water. It says his leaf shall not wither. He will not be dismayed by the things of this life. He will not be tossed to and fro by winds of doctrine because he's grounded in the word of God. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Why? Because God goes before him. Well, friends, this is just a brief look at such a powerful passage of Scripture. 
that applies to us in so many ways. And I encourage you to spend some time pondering and meditating on these three verses. Psalm chapter one, verses one through three. Well, friends, I love you. I, I pray that your journey today will be blessed, that you'll walk in the joy of the spirit and in the steps of the Lord Jesus. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.